Today, we're gonna be photographing some skincare products. Let's go. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I enjoy using constant lighting for my images. However, this time we're gonna be working with flash. It's gonna help us stop the motion much better. Whenever you wanna stop motion on an image, flash is always gonna be better than constant lighting. The product we're photographing alleviates dry skin by moisturizing and hydrating the skin. Because of this, I knew that I wanted to incorporate water into my image to reference to that element of hydration. Okay, we have our scene set up over here and I have everything set up inside a large acrylic tray. I'll link it down in the description. I got this on Amazon. Uh, I'm also using some white cubes to prop up my products and give a nice composition to the image. Over here we have our camera and I'm using a 50 millimeter lens on the Sony A1. The lighting is not done yet and I haven't added the water yet because I wanna add the water last. If I leave the water here while I do all the lighting, dust and particles are gonna fall on it. So I, wanna, I want that to be the very last thing before I take the image. I'm gonna use this strobe as my first light. It has a color gel that matches the same color as the label and also matches the color of the background. I picked this color so that the image can stay on brand and everything is consistent. It's very nice to use these lights that are battery operated because you can take them around your scene and look what is the best spot to place your light. And once you find a good spot, you can just get a light stand and place the light wherever you want it. I think this is a nice spot and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an image. As my second light, I'm gonna use a strip box to highlight the left side of my image. Okay, I think this light is good enough for now. Next, we're gonna add a light from the top shining through a diffuser. This is gonna help us light the shiny parts and help light the products a little better. With this light over here, I am using a 50 degree grid to help me point the light a little better. Let's snap a photo and see what this light is doing. Okay, I think this light looks great. Now we just need to add a reflector on the other side so that we can cover the shiny part on the left side. I'm gonna add another light with a softbox shining through this diffuser. This way it's gonna bounce just a little extra light on that side of the image. Notice that I am doing one light at a time and this is so I can see exactly what each of these lights are doing to the image. This reflector with the softbox helps us cover the black reflection on the right side of the bottle. Now we're gonna turn all the lights on and see what we have. We are very close with the lighting. Now I just wanna add a reflector over here because the shadows in my image are looking a little too dark. I think this will help bounce a little light back to the photo. All right, let's snap another photo and see what that does. Just gonna make a few last minute tweaks. Okay, I think the lighting looks very good. As you can see, the top product looks a little out of focus. So I'm gonna add a, sep a separate exposure with that product in focus so that I can merge them to the final image. Let's add the water now. Since the cubes are moving, I'm adding some sticky putty to keep them in place. I am using ISO 400 instead of 100 so that I can have my strokes at a lower power setting. 
This will make my strokes better at freezing motion. I decided to go without the little cube on the side because I think the image looks a little cleaner like that. I'm also using a trigger for the camera so I can take photos while I do the waves. After cleaning up the images a bit more in Photoshop, this was the result. Alright, that's a wrap guys. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and if you want to see my future content, subscribe. See you in the next one.